Early part of next week to the northern half of the country continues with this fresher feel, but something a little bit brighter from Tuesday onwards. Further south, just that little bit warmer, I suspect. It looks as though that's where we're likely to see a little more in the way of sunshine with highs of 25 degrees. Follow the story, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. You can follow every moment in depth with BBC News. Get the full story at bbc.co.uk forward slash news. Get the headlines as they happen with the breaking news alert. And keep up with events by watching the BBC News channel in the app. Follow the story wherever you are with BBC News. I'm Karishma Vaswani in Singapore, the headlines. An airstrike carried out by the Saudi-led coalition in Yemen hits a school bus, killing dozens of children. The number of people killed in last week's earthquake on the Indonesian island of Lombok has risen sharply to over 250. More than 150,000 are now homeless. I'm Kasia Madeira in London, also coming up on the program. America's vice president sets a goal of 2020 for creating a new space force as the sixth branch of the US military. And portraits of LGBT activists in Malaysia are removed from a public photo exhibition on the orders of a government minister. Live from our studios in Singapore and London. This is BBC World News. It's Newsday. Good morning. It's 8 a.m. in Singapore, 1 a.m. in London, and 3 in the morning in Yemen, where an airstrike on a school bus in the rebel-held north of the country has killed at least 30 children. The Saudi-led coalition, which carried out the attack, has said it was a legitimate military action aimed at missile launchers, with 8 million Yemenis facing famine and three-quarters of the population in need of humanitarian aid. The new United Nations special envoy to Yemen has told the BBC in his first interview that the country faces collapse unless a political solution can be found. Our chief international correspondent, Lise Dubstedt, reports a warning 